Unconventional Farm is helping its west side community in a unique way. Local 12's Catherine Robinson is here to show us how the aquaponics farm is investing in produce and people. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Bob. A little farm on a mission to help. It might be one of the best kept secrets in Shiviet, but secrets out. They want your help, and that could be as easy as eating some tasty fresh food. In the middle of winter, fresh leafy greens are a welcome sight. Tucked away in Shiviet, the forecast doesn't stop O2 Urban Farms. And those cups allow the roots to grow through, the trays float in the grow troughs, and the roots go down and get their nutrients out of the water. The nonprofit uses an agricultural method called aquaponics. Well, the fish create the nutrients on site for the plants. The plants take those nutrients in, which essentially filters the water, and then we return that water back to the fish tanks. It's a self-sustaining system that co-founder Mark Ruberg says uses 95% less water than traditional farming and can produce 10 times the amount of food in half the time. And perhaps most importantly for their mission, it can be done year round because this is produce with a purpose. One, two, three, four. Andy Schaller is among several people being trained to work at urban farms. With guidance, it's adults with developmental disabilities germinating, transplanting, and harvesting the produce. Individuals can come in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We don't have to worry about the weather outside. It's all climate controlled. We can provide access with wheelchairs to different levels of, of racks for harvesting, etc. And it gives us a really good environment where we can focus on skills at the pace the individual is able to keep up with so that we can prepare them appropriately. Really. Through the Ken Anderson Alliance. I'm putting in dirt in here. Employees are paid $10 an hour to grow fresh organic lettuce. Butter lettuce, basil, there are eight different varieties grown in here. And then six weeks later, you have a fresh salad mix you can buy at businesses like here at Westside Brewing. I, I can't go to the grocery store anymore because once you've had this, it, it's so fresh. It's grown locally, not in Arizona or California. It, it just, you literally can taste the difference. It's a taste that local chefs notice. The lettuce has already been used in dishes at Moorline Lager House, Jeff Ruby's, and at Hotel Covington. Supporting this little farm's purpose to provide oxygen for its community, organic produce for the planet, and a special opportunity to grow. There, I want to taste it. There's I, really there's, yeah. there's so much about that that I I like. I can remember going to like Epcot Center when I was a kid and yeah. hearing about aquaponics <laughs> uh -huh. and thinking that was the coolest thing. And now there's this place in Shiva. Right. Well, and they want people to taste it. So that's part of this. They said we have this. We're doing this awesome mission, but we want to keep employing these people. So we want you to buy the lettuce. So yeah. they're selling it. We mentioned at Westside Brewing, Piazza mm -hmm. DiCepoli Wine Shop, and the White Oak Shopping Center, and Humbert Meats and Deli. And they're hoping to expand that. They're in restaurants. Right. They're working and, and, on it. And not just restaurants, but like top end restaurants are yes. using yeah. the produce. And so I give a little kick. Let, yeah. Yeah, let's go. That was good all the way around. Mm -hmm. I like I like Great that. Mission. Quite a bit. Yep. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome.